What's guitar playing to me? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Just because I've been doing it forever, it's just, you know, it's just like me and everybody, all my friends who play music. We just do it all the time, you know? It's just, I guess it's an extension of uh, just listening to records and just being euphoric from hearing music. You know, I was just into listening to my dad's records and stuff, and then I got stoked by that at an early age. You know, it made me feel like the good kind of crazy, and then I probably fantasized about playing guitars. Friends of mine were in bands, and then one year I was going to get a guitar for Christmas, but I was particularly bad that year. So, you know, that's what they said, and they being my parents. Maybe the next year or so, my dad got me a banjo, because <laughs> uh, he was a bluegrass freak, so... You know, I took some lessons and I kind of strummed it as if it was a guitar. And then like a year later, uh, neighbors across the street just heard me playing all the time, so they gave me a guitar. I've been playing Ernie Ball strings since I was a teenager. I, I played them right away. They had that bright packaging that, <laughs> you know, attracts teenagers. <laughs> I think I used 10s first, you know, with electric strings, and then I moved up to the 11s pretty quick, and I've been playing them ever since on the guitar. They're the best, but also, in a way, they're just nostalgic, too. It's amazing the things that come out of your of your head, you know, because you have so much wonder. Really, you're not jaded by life, or like you don't have like as many obligations, responsibilities. I think things just come to you in a in a different way when you're older. I don't like go out and perform a new song like before I've recorded it. Sometimes a, a solo song I do, but definitely not, I don't get something together with the band and go, this is a new jam, this is a new number, I hope you like it. <laughs> you know, and then, then it goes on YouTube, some bad version of, of a half finished song or whatever. But I think the most rewarding part, it's fun going in there and recording it and getting lost in the moment if you have a true musical moment. I get excited to record and I go in there and when it's actually time, often I get really freaked out and think it's not happening. And I also, my band is usually hearing it for the first time or the producer, so I feel under a microscope. Maybe the lyrics are sensitive or something. I usually think it's all a wash and then I hear the playback and that's the most rewarding thing when you're like, oh, you know, another hit. But I don't mean like a hit in the charts per se, but a hit, you know, a hit to my standards. professional musician now and there's like rough patches in a tour where I used to get worried like I go through patches of not writing songs I'd be like I guess I'm washed up but I, I know it comes and goes but but also I'm just forced to play guitar every night because it's my job so you get better and that gets inspired you know you just have to coming up with a new song or new riffs being that it's what moves me you know just as if I'm listening to somebody else's record it gets me it's all the same, it's just in my blood, you know. I guess, yeah, you could say I wear my heart on my sleeve, like I got kind of sad songs, sensitive songs, whatever songs. Well, I love rock and roll too, and I want to I wanna look cool too. I, I definitely have rockers, you know. One song I, we love to play, it's kind of my favorite, is KV Crimes. 
and it's very stonesy and just the right amount of shredding. And then there's other songs like Peeping Tomboy or Stand Inside that are just uh, sensitive uh, folk jams. Uh, everything in its right place for me, you know? <laughs> I used to be more shy and um, not look out at the crowd. And, and if I feel like the show's not going good, I do get paranoid. People can feel the energy. They can tell if you're withdrawn or not. But if sometimes you just, just look, look them in the face for a second, you can sort of tell. You can tell if the show's going good. and, and uh, it's, you know, that, that's definitely a rewarding scenario. <laughs>